This video will cover the topic, finding local maxima and minima of a function given the graph. For our first example problem, we will need to find all the local minimum values of the function f, and all the values at which function f has a local minimum value based on this graph of function f. How do we determine what is a local minimum value of the graph? Excellent question! We can determine if a point is a local minimum by looking at how the graph changes directions. With a local minimum, the graph changes directions from decreasing to increasing. If we look at our graph, we can see that there are two points where the graph changes from decreasing to increasing. Those points are 0, negative 2 and 4, negative 2. These are our local minimum values. Now that we have the local minimum values, how would we find which values are local minimum values of f and which are values where f has a local minimum? Great question! For the first part, we are looking for values of function f that are local minimum values. To find the values of f that are local minimum values, we will look at the y values of our local minimum points. Since our only y value is negative 2, this means that our answer is negative 2. Next, we need to find the values at which function f has a local minimum value. To find these values, we need to look at the x values of our local minimum points. In this case, our x values are 0 and 4. This means that the values at which function f has a local minimum value are 0 and 4, which are our final answer. I think I'm starting to understand how to find the local minima points, but how would we find the maxima points? To find the maxima points, we are going to use the same principle as we did with our minima, but instead of looking for a change of direction from decreasing to increasing, we are looking for a change of direction from increasing to decreasing. Let's use the following graph of function g in order to find all the local maximum values of function g and all the values in which function g has a local maximum value. Looking at our graph, there are two points where the graph changes directions from increasing to decreasing. Those points are negative 3, 3 and 2, 4. Using these points, we are going to first find the local maximum values of function g. Wait, looking at our local maximum points, I see that there are two y values. Does this mean that we will have more than one local maximum value? Exactly, a graph can have multiple minimum or maximum values. In this case, we're going to look at the y values of our local maximum points in order to find the local maximum values. Our y values are 3 and 4, which means that the values of our local maximum points are 3 and 4. Next, we need to find the values at which function g has a local maximum value. To find these values, we will look at the x values of our local maximum points, which are negative 3 and 2. This means that the values at which function g has a local maximum value are negative 3 and 2. I think I'm starting to figure out the concept, but let me summarize just to make sure. To find the local minimum or maximum values of a function, we will look at the y values of our local minimum or maximum values. This will be our result. To find the values at which a function has a local minimum or maximum value, we will look at the x values of our local minimum or maximum values. This will be our result. Great job! It seems that you have an understanding on how to find local maxima and minima of a function given its graph.